Hey everyone, Captain Owl here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys on an in-depth tutorial on how to make a really small, compact iron farm for your Minecraft 1.16 or 1.15 survival world. Let's get right into it. Now, of course, this build was not designed by me. This was designed by the one and only genius who he is, Voltrox. Please go check him out in the link down below, or his channel down below. It is mentioned in the description. Thank you. Now, to start off this build, you will need one zombie, three villagers, one redstone dust, three redstone repeaters, one redstone torch, one sticky piston, two stone brick slabs, five hoppers, three oak signs, one water and lava bucket, one stack of 64 stone bricks or any block of your choice, three barrels, one red bed or any colored bed of your choice, one oak trap door, and one name tag. These are all the materials that will be needed in this build. There may be more materials needed, but we will have to see. So the first thing that you are going to do is you're gonna build seven blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then once you're at the seventh block, simply make a little platform around it so that we can start off with the redstone mechanics or the mechanics of the build. Now, once you have started something like this, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to put a piston in the middle and then put a slab on top with a bunch of blocks going around just like so. Grab yourself some repeaters and make them facing going this way and put three ticks on them on each side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get rid of this block here, put down some redstone dust, and put down a redstone torch. This should be going up and down, the piston should be working, so that means you have your contraption all set up. Go ahead and make the walls three blocks up on each side so that they are parallel to one another. Once you're done with that, go ahead and place glass all around the side so that you can actually see what you're doing and see how well the zombie is doing within this contraption. Now, before you put your zombie in, make sure that you name him. I'm gonna name mine Billy. I have no idea why. I just thought Billy would be a perfect name for this zombie. There you go. Billy is now in the machine. He is jumping up and down super happily. Now, once you're done with the zombie mechanism, you must make some space for the villagers. So place two blocks outward for space for the villagers and place them just like so. Go ahead and place your bed down and place a barrel on top of the bed and then place another barrel on the side and place a barrel on the other side. This is really important. Make sure that you place your block down like so. Billy might burn and maybe die. Hopefully not. I'm hoping, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Okay, he, he didn't die. <laughs> and then replace your slab a little bit higher up. This will make sure that the zombie is now securely in place, locked in position so that it can scare the villagers and won't get out through the top. Go ahead and place down your three villagers. Make sure you have a water contraption or a boat contraption of some sort so you can get them into the little area chamber that you have here so that the zombie can start scaring them. Next, you're just gonna make a little roof for the villagers to sit in, and then you're gonna be placing a chest on the opposite end of the contraption. Then you're gonna connect up the hoppers to one another. All along the sides, make sure you have five hoppers on each side so that all of them can go into each other, into the first chest. So to test this out, you can basically put a hopper into a hopper and see if it goes into the chest. Finally, for this section, put a piece of glass on top of the chest. You can still open the chest, it's fine. Now you should have something similar to what I have around here. You should have two wall blocks along the side with three up high as well as on the glass over here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be placing a sign here and then two signs, one on the glass and one up here, and then place your lava bucket down just like so, so that the lava can sit perfectly on the signs and it won't burn anything, you'll be fine, trust me. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the Iron Golem farm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot. As well as follow my other social medias, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, all that good stuff. Make sure to like the video as well as subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, hoot on.